Hey, this is Mr. A, and I want to walk you through my notes on the elevator problem. Uh, this page is uh, page number 103 in your text. It's the example problem three. It's talking about your real and apparent weight when you are stepping on a spring scale inside of an elevator. Um, we are talking about just the forces on you, the person here, standing on the spring scale. So let me walk you through my notes. There are three distinct situations in the elevator problem. One is when you are at rest or the elevator car is stopped or when you're at constant speed. Both when you're at rest or constant speed, that is one situation. Another situation is when you are accelerating upward from rest or coming to stop, coming to a stop when you're going down. These are both the situations where you feel heavier. And then the third situation is when you are accelerating downward from rest or coming to a stop from going up. And this is when you feel lighter. So this this uh, normal feeling that you have, this heavier feeling that you have, or this lighter feeling you have, all these feelings that you have in the elevator, uh, we're going to explain those in terms of force diagrams and uh, formulas for the uh, net force, which we can actually do some calculations with. So the first situation I want to talk to you about is when the elevator car is stopped or you're at a constant speed and everything feels normal for you. Um, in these types of problems, in this chapter, uh, we are talking about free body diagrams. So I, I want you to draw a free body diagram of what's going on. There, uh, you represent yourself as a dot, and then you draw a vector going downward that represents the force of gravity on you. And then you represent another vector going upward, which is the push of the scale on you. And these two vectors should be of equal size because you're not moving or you're going at a constant speed. So the net force is zero. If you were to add these two vectors together, they would be zero, and that means that there is no acceleration. There is no acceleration when you are at rest or there is a constant speed. So, what I just said there in words, you can write in symbols. F net is equal to the vector sum of these two vectors. It's simply the F scale vector plus the FG vector. But remember that according to your drawing, if up is positive, then you have drawn FG in the negative direction, so you will have to give that a negative value. If these two vectors are of equal value, then you can re of equal value, so here's uh, F scale is equal to FG, then this is the case where F net is equal to zero. So this is a special case when the elevator is at rest or at constant speed. You have one equation, which uh, is set uh, F scale minus FG is set equal to zero. Then F scale is equal to FG. Now let's take the next situation where you are accelerating upward from rest or coming to a stop from going down. These are situations where you feel heavier. When you draw your free body diagram, you need to draw it in such a way that there is now a net force. The force of gravity on you has not changed because your mass has stayed the same. But if you feel heavier, it's because the scale is pushing more on you now. In fact, is pushing more on you now than the force of gravity is. So in this uh, free body diagram that I've drawn, uh, this is graph paper, and FG is two squares down, and F scale I've drawn as 
three squares up. So if I were to do the vectors, these, uh, sum these two vectors, then the resultant would be a little tiny f net, which is one square high. Regardless of whether you're accelerating upward from rest or coming to a stop from going down, the acceleration and net force are both positive in the positive direction. So this force is in the positive direction, so your acceleration is in the positive directions. I think it's easier to see if you are accelerating upward from rest that this force and this acceleration is positive because it is speeding you up in the upward direction. You have to think about it a little bit. If you were coming to a stop from going down, this acceleration is working against you, slowing you down so that you can come to a stop. So in both cases, this net force and acceleration is in the positive direction, regardless of whether you're accelerating from a stop or whether you're coming down, um, coming to a stop from going down. This situation is a bit more complicated and we have, now we have two equations for F net. The first equation came from, it's the same equation that we had in our previous example. In the previous example, F net was zero, so F scale is equal to FG. But in this equation, F net now has some value. Okay, we, often we can find out what the value of F net is because the second equation for F net is F net equals MA, where M is your mass. Remember, we're talking about you in the elevator, so M is, is your mass. I think I'm falling off the screen here. Let me scrunch this up here a little bit. Where, where M is your mass, and A is the acceleration of the elevator. So often they will tell you that the accelerator is accelerating at 2 meters per second squared. Your mass is 70 kilograms. Uh, what is the F net going to be? Okay. Now then, notice that these are two equations. For F net, you can set those two equations equal to each other and you get MA is equal to F scale minus FG. So this is handy when you're uh, solving uh, some problems uh, in this particular situation. Our final situation is where you're accelerating downward from rest or coming to a stop after going up. These are situations where you feel lighter. If you draw your free body diagram for this situation, this is where you will have a net force going down. F scale is not as large as FG. So when you add these two vectors, you will get a resultant that is in the negative direction. So here my FG is still uh, two squares down. And now, but F scale is now just one square up. So the net result is F net is one square down. You feel lighter because the scale isn't pushing up on you as much anymore. Okay? So in this situation, the acceleration and the net force is negative. Okay? Our formulas still apply. This is the one that we've been working with all along. F net is equal to F scale minus FG. And it just depends on the values of F scale and FG as to what F net are. You can often find what F net is if you do a Newton's second law, F equals MA calculation, where M is your mass and A is the acceleration of the elevator. And quite often, also, you can set those two equations equal to each other, and uh, that's, a, that's a helpful equation also.
So those are the three different situations. And I just wanted to walk you through my notes and I will um, post these notes uh, along with this video.